When it comes to treating B-cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, a certain type of cancer, kit for yttrium-90, ibrichumumab is a medication that is used in combination with rituximab. This medication contains a radioactive substance called yttrium-90, which works alongside rituximab to target and kill specific blood and cancer cells from the immune system, known as B-cells. This treatment is typically for patients whose cancer has returned or has not responded to other treatments. The combination of ibrichumumab tioxidin and rituximab, both monoclonal antibodies, is effective in fighting against cancer cells. It's important to follow the prescribed dosage and take the medication at the optimal timing recommended by your healthcare provider. The kit for yttrium-90 ibrichumumab is administered through a vein by a medical professional. The amount given depends on your specific medical condition, weight, and how well you respond to the treatment. Some of the common side effects of using kit for yttrium-90 ibrichumumab include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach pain, cough, dizziness, headache, flushing, and loss of appetite. If any of these effects persist or worsen, it is important to inform your doctor or pharmacist. It is important to note that while this medication may have serious side effects, it has been prescribed to you because your doctor believes that the benefits outweigh the risks. Your doctor will monitor you closely to decrease the risk of any serious side effects. You should contact your doctor immediately if you experience any serious side effects such as pain or swelling at the injection site, swelling in the ankles or feet, changes in mental slash mood, such as anxiety, black stools, vomit that looks like coffee grounds, or vaginal bleeding. In rare cases, this medication has been linked to other types of cancer, which can lead to serious blood disorders. It is important to be aware of the symptoms and seek medical attention if necessary. A serious allergic reaction to this drug is also rare, but if you notice any symptoms such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek immediate medical help. This is not an exhaustive list of possible side effects, so if you experience any other effects, it is important to contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you are in the US, you can report any side effects to the FDA, and in Canada, you can report them to Health Canada. When used with ibrichumumab tioxetin, rituximab may cause serious side effects such as severe breathing problems or heart issues, which can be fatal. These effects usually occur within 30 minutes to 2 hours of receiving rituximab. The risk of these effects is greater during your first treatment. Seek medical help immediately if you experience trouble breathing, itching, swelling, severe dizziness, or chest pain. This medication may also cause very serious blood disorders, leading to low numbers of blood cells and affecting your body's ability to fight infections or causing you to bruise or bleed more easily. Contact your doctor if you develop signs of infection, easy bruising slash bleeding, unusual tiredness, or fast slash pounding heartbeat. In rare cases, serious skin reactions such as Stevens-Johnson syndrome have occurred in patients receiving this treatment. Seek medical help if you develop a rash or pain slash swelling of the mouth slash tongue slash throat slash eyes. If you have previously had a severe skin reaction due to ibrichumumab tioxetin or the other medications used in the treatment program, do not start this treatment program again. Consult your doctor or pharmacist for more details. Before starting treatment with the kit for yttrium-90 ibrichumumab, it's important to inform your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have to this medication or other medications in the treatment plan. This product may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions or other problems. Your medical history is also important to discuss with your doctor or pharmacist, especially if you have any blood or bone marrow disorders, recent or current infections, or if you are using alcohol or marijuana, which can increase dizziness. If you are planning to have surgery or receive immunizations slash vaccinations, it's crucial to inform your healthcare professional about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. Ibrichumumab tioxetin can make you more susceptible to infections or worsen current infections, so it's important to avoid contact with people who have contagious illnesses such as chickenpox, COVID-19, measles, or the flu. To lower the risk of injury, use caution with sharp objects and avoid activities such as contact sports. It's also important to note that this medication is made from human blood, and while it undergoes rigorous testing and manufacturing processes, there is a very small chance of getting infections from the medication. 
If you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant, it's important to discuss this with your doctor as using ibrutumumab tioxidin may harm an unborn baby. Reliable forms of birth control should be used during treatment and for 12 months after the last dose. Breastfeeding is not recommended while using this medication and for 6 months after stopping it due to the potential risk to the infant. Always consult with your doctor before breastfeeding. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions when taking kit for yttrium-90 ibrutumumab. Certain medications can affect how this drug works or increase the risk of serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. It's crucial not to start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with kit for yttrium-90 ibrutumumab include drugs that affect the immune system, such as azathioprine, cyclosporin, and corticosteroids like prednisone. Additionally, drugs that can cause bleeding or bruising, such as blood thinners like warfarin or heparin, and antiplatelet drugs including NSAIDs like ibuprofen or aspirin, may also interact with this medication. If you are prescribed low-dose aspirin for specific medical reasons, such as heart attack or stroke prevention, it should be continued as directed by your doctor, usually 81 to 162 mg a day. Be sure to consult your doctor or pharmacist for more details. If someone has taken too much of the medication and is experiencing severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it is important to seek immediate medical attention by calling 911. Otherwise, contact a poison control center right away. In the U.S., residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. Canadian residents can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include signs of infection, such as persistent sore throat, fever, easy bruising or bleeding, unusual tiredness, and a fast or pounding heartbeat. If you experience any of these symptoms, seek medical help immediately. It is important to undergo lab and or medical tests, such as a complete blood count, platelets, and blood pressure, while using this medication. Make sure to keep all scheduled medical and lab appointments. It is essential to consult your doctor for more details on these tests and appointments. Make sure to take each dose of the kit for yttrium-90 ibrutumumab on time according to your doctor's instructions. If you happen to miss a dose, be sure to consult with your doctor or pharmacist as soon as possible to determine a new dosing schedule. This medication is administered in a medical setting and is not meant to be stored at home. It is used to treat certain types of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. The dosage and timing of administration will be determined by your healthcare provider. This medication is not meant for self-administration and should only be given by a healthcare professional. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.